Hey guys, it's Slashy Main here. What is going on? And today I'll be showing you guys a few tips and tricks about how to play Hawk. Uh, this is what I've gathered so far from playing for multiple hours inside of training against Dobby over you here. Trying to figure eyes. out how to do Hawk the best. Obviously, I haven't figured out everything, but I'll show you what I got so far and what I figured out. So let's get straight into it. Okay, first off, you gotta know that Hawk has two forms sprinting. There is his normal one on the floor, and then there is his one that I prefer and recommend everybody learn to use mainly. You jump up, and then you dash. It is very prevalent because you go, you dash, and it can take you relatively across the whole map on most areas. It is very useful because you can also press triangle with it. You can dash, so and then triangle, it does not stop your dash, and you can still attack. It doesn't do too much damage, but it is enough to where it is useful and can be used multiple times. Secondly, you gotta remember that your circle, I think B on Xbox, brings the enemy towards the direction you're at. So if you want them to go backwards towards the wall, you would have to go and press circle, and then it will bring them, kick them, and throw them closer to the wall. See, this is the wall area, and now he is right next to it, so it's very useful in case you want to corner them and continue on with combos that rely on them not moving around too much, which I'll show you some later. Secondly, there's little basic combos here. You can go one, two, three, and then right afterwards, Don't burn the speed. you go straight into a plus to one, which that's very good because you can get some cheap damage in right there because that plus ultra one that you do after the third hit is unblockable because you are doing it right after, but also right before the, this really, it's the red feathers, which that interrupts your whole combo there. Yeah, it's useful in case you want to get them slightly away, but not recommended to continue with it if you're trying to get extra combo hits in, because you can also just go in with the first three, and then you can go and click O, and it drags them, and then you kick them away, and you get a nice 10% or so of their health gone as well. So besides those combos, you have the basic ones of just clicking circle, the on Xbox, and this is what it does. This is all it does. There is no continuation. That's it. It drags them and then kicks them towards the direction that your character is standing in. Then you go continue on with the uh, regular square attack. That's just what I showed you guys a little bit earlier. It ends with the wing feather strike. This, there is a disadvantage to this so uh, you'll see right now if I keep using it, I do end up getting pushed back. Which then at one point you see right there, it stopped dead in front of him. Not too much of a drawback, but it's enough to be worth mentioning because it could stop some attacks from hitting. But then we gotta go into the flicked combos. And the flicked combos are pretty good because it's the flicked squares, which ends up read. looking like nice this, right not the first one I did. It turns you yellow, and you slap them across the face with your wing. But then you go to around a medium range, and you want to do flicked range, do right? It's very good because it curves around. See how it misses sometimes? Because there is an ideal range to it. I go, I use read. it, it goes, it makes them go in the air, right? You it has pretty good range. It still hits from even this distance. It? Which is pretty great, because I'm against the corner of the whole entire map, and this attack is still going to hit them. Uh, the only way to make use of this range is to use the attack, not that one, this Let's range fly. one, jump up, fly towards them, and then yes. you can continue on with the combo. See, it's very useful, and that's why you got to learn the difference for the dodges. Uh, it's always fine to mess up, because sometimes you can always flick at the wrong angle, and it won't that's end up turning yellow or the range attack into the alt versions, it will end up just doing the basic one. So you gotta remember to uh, practice those a bit before trying to get into the main combos. So besides the basic ones I showed you, like this one, where you just go in and you use your basic attacks and just alt between them, you could also go into more advanced stuff involving sidekicks, which I'll show you some I learned right now. Um, for starters, there is one that receives basically, I want to say, the max damage. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you guys a bit of some combos that I learned. Uh, after a bit of practice, you can easily do this. They're pretty good. Do a lot of damage to end up with less health than they would if you had landed your plus ultra three, which is a really significant amount of damage. And considering it just uses your plus ultra one and two, uh, sadly this does mean you have to have a full plus ultra gauge. But that is perfectly fine. You could do this in parts as well and just still get a good portion of damage. 
Oh, you're going to do one, two, three square, and then just you're a little going bit to want to do your plus ultimate one. It's about time you're going to want to press zero, and then you're going to want to run for it. One, two, and then plus ultra. And you see how it hits here? That ends up going in to being all of it in a streak, and it all continues on from there. So you do get a sizable amount of damage in. Uh, the recovery did activate mid there because the space was a little bit different. That's why I said you need a wall. But you can see if you don't react fast enough, you can still get that even without a wall. It's just a bit more risky. So I wouldn't personally recommend doing it. But you see that I'm going to hit him. goes back to full health to prove that I have recovery on. Very useful when testing. Uh, better than having recovery off because that's unrealistic. So you could also do it in parts like the one, That's two, and awesome. then you also just do your we also two, and it is also a guaranteed yeah. hit as well because they are that falling exactly so after the second hit. Uh, pretty sure it's you can actually do it with the third hit too, but I'm not sure because I haven't really tested it, so I'm not going to include that as a tips and tricks. But you guys can try it out. Tell me if you guys found any more in the comments down below. I obviously didn't discover them all. But there is a lot you guys can do with the combos and continue on. Okay guys, I'm going to end it off a bit special. There is a way to get some small damage in uh, or potentially big damage if you are proficient with your combos. So everybody should know how to do the animation cancel with the quick step that takes away one letter of your plus ultra meter. So since I have it on ultimate, uh, which means my plus ultra meter doesn't go down so I can show you guys all of these. Uh, I'm going to go straight into it. So, you basically, I love do doing it with now? this attack. You, you don't have to, but I personally go like this. So I break it's one, two, it. I drag yeah, him. And then after that, you can uh, easily go straight I'm into this. Bit your plus ultra one, because he hops up immediately speed. afterwards. Which then leads him to get straight hit by this. And just like in the other one, if you have Jiro or near a wall, you could potentially go into the max damage meter combo that I showed you and then raise that even higher because you started that off in a different way with more steps so you could potentially one combo KO all of them because you see how much health I took away with that that is how much health is left after you do the max co damage combo so it's very good for you to do stuff like this. That's actually hard to read. And sorry if I'm like pausing between my talking and between there. It just it does so much damage. So I'd recommend everybody doing it if you can uh, to learn it. Again, I'm gonna repeat what it is. Probably put in the description how to do it. Um, obviously gonna have to type it in words, but that's perfectly fine. It should be a reference for everybody anyway. Uh, not sure how to do it on systems like PC. I think they have one justice to on PC. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I know for sure they have it on Xbox and PlayStation, obviously. So, I'm gonna say it again. Triple square. And then you're gonna want a plus just ultra a one. Then you're gonna but put Jira yeah, on right so afterwards <laughs> while he's in the air. And then you can go right underneath. One, two, and then you can go into that. And then you would go into a plus ultra two. Which, if you are facing the wall correctly or a corner, preferably, then you will 100% hit all of these. I wouldn't say the closer you are to the enemy, the better, because I could really do some stuff that could possibly end your combo. Like sidekicks. All these combos are great, unless they put a sidekick that could easily smack you in between all of them. Which would be very bad for everybody, but that can't be helped. So just remember and keep that stuff in mind, the other person is a player probably, unless you're testing it out in training like me, then you gotta be wary sometimes. But till then, I hope you guys liked this tips and tricks video. Tell me if you guys discovered any that I haven't after multiple hours of trying them. That's and actually hard to read. tell me your c possible combos because I personally like mine. They do a lot of damage. You guys could take them if you want to. Uh, I implemented some extra stuff into them, but no, I didn't make them. Um, I just saw some other people doing them in games, and I'm like, that looks insane. Plus, I died to them a few times, so I t just thought I should show you guys. Help everybody out. So, <laughs> remember to like and subscribe again if I said that already. 
but remember to hit the notification bell as well to see all my future videos i'm trying to get better at these help you guys make some more tips and tricks if you guys like this one and until next time i hope everybody has a great day peace